the game. So that's what makes it so powerful. Five drop yeah. is a mystery, though. Oh, look at that. We'll yeah, be nice. switching to the game between Sixo and Fresno, and it looks like they are 1 1 into the uh, matches. Yeah, that's wearing an interesting match. hat. There is a chopper hat for mm. Fresno. This is actually Sixo's. He's probably lending in <laughs> Fresno. Chopper, okay. that's, f that's from One Punch. One Punch, man. No, it's from One Piece. Oh. Up. Not that fast when it comes down. There was one and there was a P, so. <laughs> and it was a P, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this looks like sort of traditional handlock, I guess. Just like the sort of current handlock list with the Void Callers and maybe a Doom Guardian from, uh, from Sixo. Mm -hmm. And the Paladin is usually struggling against handlocks because the only way you can win this uh, this matchup is to be super aggressive mm. from turn one. Yep. You just go straight to the face with every single minion you can, and you're not sparing any single point of damage because yep. if there and will be hellfire, draw <laughs> yeah, if there will be hellfire, you lose. If there will be a shadow flame, you probably lose. If there are molten giants, you lose. So if you just go face deal enough damage, and they you don't just draw avoid well, and yeah. they <laughs> don't draw those cards. You will eventually just go through and kill your opponent. That was a pretty interesting knife. It's a shame as well that we've not seen them. Um, it looks like Fraser lost with his rogue. And that was a shame because we've not seen yeah. we've not seen rogue yet. Raptor. Yeah. Is that what deck it is? I don't know, man. I <laughs> you hope so. I want well, to see another Raptor. We can assume that the. Oh wait, we can't assume what happened because if if Fraza was opening with the rogue and a hunter from six to one. Wait, actually, uh, it's two one for Fraser. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, we thought it's 1-1, uh, one, one, but it's actually 2-1 for Fraser, and Xix is left with his handlock deck. Interesting, but yep. we, unfortunately we don't know if the Rogue won any matches. Yeah, this might actually be a bit of a rough position for Sixo because he has like he has good cards, but nothing that like works well enough. Um, the Dra Again, the Drake's kids, you just almost have to Argus here. I suppose, well, um, I suppose the heal bot's okay. Hmm. It's just not having demons to pull is going to be rough for the Void Caller. He should be fine as well. Like, he is, he can fall My off of Dr. Bull next turn. Yes, yeah, it's fine as well. Like, he's building a really good goal. He hopes there's no consideration, right? Yeah. Oh, and it worth mentioning is the fact that they are both 2-1 uh, in the results, right? Two wins, one loss. Yeah. yeah, so this actually eases up some pressure for one player mm -hmm. and puts a hell of a lot of pressure on the next round for the other. Yes. So whether loses this can't be really well. Yeah, if he wants to advance. If he yeah. wants to advance to 16, and everybody wants to advance to 16. Of course. <laughs> wow, Fraser is really aggressive with his uh, Light's Justice here. He's going face. I think yeah, what looks okay for the Paladin here is he has Dr. Boom next turn, but he also has answers in the form of the IMB Cal for any like Sig Double Taunt and a BGH for any Moltens or you know any, any other Giants that we're going to see. So he's got some good cards. Maybe it is just enough that the Booms might provide enough actual just muscle to power through. We do see the BGH on a 6 -0 side, but even in playing the BGH, it reduces the mana he's got to play anything else that's actually going to heavily impact the game. Yeah, but on the other hand, Paladin normally doesn't have the burst, so if 6 is able to, to contain the situation, he might actually win this. The stuff. boom bots are the burst. Nimsh. Yeah. <laughs> Eight damage well, from boom bots confirmed. They are, but you know. <laughs> and there is a true silver champion as well, right? I'm yeah. The beast in my but anyway, and I want to remind you guys that this is a big sister event. We're watching the Winter 2015. And uh, how many matches are right now? We have, I think, we started with 100 matches because we had, we had 200 players. Now, a couple of players dropped because they have bad scores. So I, I can guess we still have uh, around like 70 matches happening at the same time. There will be a lot of well, games played over the weekend. This is round four, right? This is round yes, four. This yeah. Is round yeah, four. so there'll be people who, there'll probably be a, a reasonable sum of people who have gotten like. Zero uh, free drop, basically. Yeah, yeah, zero three. And maybe even people have dropped it too, potentially. Yeah, some people didn't show up as well, like Forsen, who overslept and never showed up. For duty. Forsen will probably be zero right now, but. Yeah. You know. <laughs> or zero Forsen. We'll never know. Zero Forsen? <laughs> After this round. So. Another heal bot is useful. Just trying to see if there's eight, nine, ten. Well, we can just go for. You can dab on dark the, the four bot, two, yeah. right? Yeah. I was just gonna trade with the BJ. So that leaves six damage from the paladin. Of course, there's not another way. There's no way that the paladin can burst at the damage of that kind. Double zombie chow is like dead. Will he ever play it in this situation? 
I can't see happening because it's not like he's behind and he needs the board to like challenge the sort of any aggression mm -hmm. at the moment. Maybe if he if uh, Sixo can come back and then he draws into Argus to at least just put up two soft speed bumps because health then becomes unimportant because you're trying to defend. But I can't see them. Like I said, I can't see them really realistically being the player, especially because he has Belcher. Oh my God, those perfect boom boards. <laughs> Sixo just sit shaking his head. Not like this. <laughs> And this puts a really uh, tough situation for Six so out on the board. Shadow Honey oh. doesn't work. Wait, uh, five. He could. <laughs> okay. I don't whether Thoris and Shadow Flame is going to happen. <laughs> How much damage is there? Wait, wait, wait. Seven? That's, that's actually um, seven, nine, ten, eleven that's damage funny. on the board. So six. he needs to use the Dark Bomb now on, Iron on, the, mm. on the Owl. To be nine, and then something like Jaraxxus can maybe help so him to come back. Well, Dr. Boom is a great combat card, so it's not like he played it and he miscalculated because he can't play Shout right now. But Dr. Boom gives him the best chance to actually come back. Oh, I'm well not sure nice. about that because uh, he could have played Twilight Drake into Owl, into Shadow Flame on Owl. Yeah, to clear off the smaller clear minions, the smaller minions leave leave seven damage. Yeah, yeah, the battle would be silenced, you have 7 damage on the board only. But then if the... If this is a charge minion. Uh, that's Ooh. not a charge, just Billy. But Fraser is playing minions, so that's why Shadow Flame will be useful this turn. Mm -hmm. I guess you go... You, you need to stick to your plan and just go aggressively uh, as much as you can. And I love this approach, this is how the pattern should have worked here. Clearing bombs... Kind of makes sense if you expect it. Yeah, I think because uh, obviously you know we can see from Six O, but Six O's probably going to do the turn Lothar just said uh, this turn now. Use the owl mm -hmm. and uh, to silence and then prop. Uh, yeah, you can use the the boom bot as well to try and uh, clear off the Murloc Knight, I guess. BGH well, well isn't wouldn't useful. you just go? Okay. Well, he can still Shadow Flame one of the minions. Oh, he's gonna shut the flame. Okay, so he's playing really safe. Have we seen Dr. Boom? Uh, we've seen Dr. Boom. So, what are the other big and targets? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I was just wanted to say something, but I wasn't sure. Oh, look at that. If you would have so. only attack this turn. Oh man, this, this can actually be over just now. If uh, Sixo doesn't pick up uh, his heal and use double heal bot already. I, I think this is the turn when you just drop the heal bot for nothing. Yeah, you, you want like pressure. Yeah, well, why not? Alex Straz yeah. is not going to come out and then the yeah. random ending yeah. is there. Like, you may as well put the minion and put more pressure on the board. He needs something like Jaraxxus. Doomguard is not it. Yeah, he just needs to tap here. Do you, There's do nothing you, he can tap into, but right? But do you, do you even tap? Because then like you're dead to Consecration. Even he's, seen, he's seen one. He's seen one. Yeah, you've seen I think one you have to, because you're dead either way, right? No, it's the moon, but what, what's happening with those. Free damage to the face. I guess you can... Can you have multiple? Yeah. Yeah. I've got the you kind of... Yeah, I suppose this is the way he wins. Um, yeah. I was going to say, throwing away Owl when you've not seen Tyrion hurts, but he isn't going to win if he doesn't throw Five, himself Five, that's ball. eight, that's 13, that's 18 damage next turn, so he had some chances of winning maybe next turn, but that's it. Fraser draws the Truce of a Champion and equips it and uh, finishes the game against Sixo. Yeah, and the state on that game as well. I mean, we saw Fraser use a heal bot on full health, and then he drew into Lay on Hand. So there was like, he was must have been like uh, earlier in the game at least, like so far ahead. That's never under any pressure whatsoever. Sixo yeah. takes the hat and he is uh, a bit distressed, but he's not out yet. Like, he can, if he wins all the other games in the tournament, which is five more. He's at the moment he's 2-2, two -two, so he needs to win five more games. Today, three rounds. Today is th three more rounds today, mm -hmm. two more rounds tomorrow. If he wins that, he w is actually going to advance. But it is a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure, especially on, on players like Sixo, who are uh, easily, let's say... Tilted? Tilted, yes. Yeah. Uh, they get really uh, easily nervous uh, on tournaments like that when there's a lot of pressure. And there's a lot just, you know, the stakes are high. Uh, but he needs to endure this situation and, uh, well, for Fraser, good job for him. Like, uh, gets a good comeback in the competitive gaming, a free one uh, in a big event. Uh, he needs to win, uh, well, basically, 
five wins will be comfortable top 16 seed uh seven two is still not certain that you will get into the top 16 because there will be some players that will not get into the top 16 in the, in the cut with the seven two uh outcome uh but yeah we'll we see actually how it goes we actually have fraser here for an interview so oh, cool. ca come on man we do have a, a special headset all right, so Fraser, welcome to the desk. Is it is it your comeback? Like, is are you back for the competitive scene? No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> yeah, you did pretty good. Thanks. Um, I just played here at Dreamhack because I live in Stockholm, so it's really close. And okay. I mean, we'll see. So but you're not playing like a c uh, Hearthstone on the daily basis anymore? No, I wouldn't say so. If you won Dreamhack, do you think you would? Would you like go back to you know the playing hardcore? Defense. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Do you okay. like the current meta game? Uh, I actually don't really. I'm not really sure about the current meta game. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <laughs> seems to be playing answer. everything. You're just uh, you're just playing for fun as well. Just uh, hanging out with people and and doing yeah. what you do. I, I mean, I love playing tournaments. It's uh, it is really fun. Dreamhack was pretty important for you. Like before Dreamhack, sum the first Dreamhack summer, you went from Bioc to top eight, was it? Yeah. So that was pretty impressive. And uh, it would be really fun to actually see uh, you in top eight again, and maybe even taking the event. Dreamhack has been like a tradition for me. <laughs> Always playing it. Pretty good. And um, so, are you happy about your lineup, the, the the decks you brought? We actually haven't seen the rogue. Can you spoil it a bit, or do you want to keep it secret? Uh, I can say it's oil rogue. It's okay. Uh, it's pretty standard. Did you win Kay. any games with it in this set? Because we no. didn't see that at all. I I opened rogue, and he opened hunter. And oh. it was oh like hybrid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, don't like I, I don't like turn six. Yeah, we all know how that matchup goes, so yeah. fair enough. <laughs> Especially when you're not playing any taunts, right? Mm -hmm. And Rogue <laughs> doesn't pack any yeah. in the old <laughs> version, so it might be a problematic situation. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you even include any cards from the League of Explorers? Um, not many. I okay, but you play some. I have uh, a couple. Okay, I have one in my nice. Paladin deck, and I have... Uh, We've seen Keeper, right? Oh yeah, we can see we have seen Keeper of Ulderman, right? Yeah. Yes. And I have okay. a couple in my Warlock too. So I, di I didn't get to play it there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what there's the secret. What do you mm -hmm. think yeah, about the, the new secret. expansion at all, uh, like in overall? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the new expansion overall? It's it's really crazy. I mean, uh, I love uh, like Reno making uh, new kind of archetype of decks mm -hmm. and uh, Death Rattle Rogue and everything. Uh, I don't know, uh, but there's only been uh, two. Uh, sets yet, so yeah, yeah. We still need for uh, to wait for it more weeks, and when we get stuff of origination and all the cool stuff, are you guys hyped for the golden monkey? <laughs> yeah, definitely. All? That's one of the cards I'm looking to to f to stream. You know, yeah. it's like the crazy card with crazy outcomes. So many YouTube videos will pop out on Reddit about that card. I'm sure of that. It's gonna be amazing. I have yeah. one last question to Fraser. What's the the best part of Hearthstone at DreamHack for you? Uh, getting to meet all the players. I mean, you only get to meet all the awesome people here, uh, like at events. So you gotta do that while you can. Sweet, you know? that's pretty yeah. awesome. All right, guys. It's all about the community in general, right? Yeah, and the Harson community is great. You can just like walk here and hang out, talk to people. So it's amazing. All right, I think we're actually ready to go into the break. We're gonna um, find the pairings for the next round and come back shortly. So stay tuned for more Harson action.